I'm so glad to be here and to visit this amazing country, Portugal, um, and to be in a room with all of these fabulous explorers. Um, I'm just waiting for the deck to come up. Thank you so much. And so did you all know that space, everything in space is location-based? Our premise is that there is no robust space-based economy um, without location-based services. B612 Foundation that Rusty co-founded uh, is building a software platform to enable deep space exploration and to protect our planet from asteroid impacts. So why are maps important? What makes a map valuable is that to develop a new frontier always requires a map. Whoever holds the map to the new frontier holds an extremely critical key to the future. From the great age of exploration, the major powers sent explorers around the world to map things. This very, this, the very first international company, the Dutch East India Company, which was powerful be, for more than 200 years, was because they had superior maps. Prince Henry, the navigator from Portugal, led the world into the age of discovery because of his superior maps. And in the 1990s, Craig Ventner to fully knew that to fully take advantage of the field of genomics, it required mapping the human genome. And fast forward to today, 99% of our solar system is not mapped. We believe that anyone who has access to a space map will have a profound advantage. So where does a space map all begin? In space, everything is in motion. And in order to create the map, you need to start with trajectory software. Does this software exist today? Yes, but it's slow, it's expensive, and complicated to install and run. And we may aim to make these kinds of calculations in near real time on a cloud platform. So let me ask you this question. Did we imagine just 16 years ago services like Zillow and Uber and Yelp? Google enabled these services because Google created a map for others to build upon. Google Maps drives the majority of the public navigation services today. To enter the location-based services future, you're going to need a map. And space is all about trajectories, where you are and where you're going. A space map will enable future scientific and economic developments of space beyond the crowded world of low Earth orbit where the majority of satellites and instruments and space junks that we just heard about reside today. A dynamic, four-dimensional, time being the fourth dimension, map of space will open up possibilities beyond Earth. And importantly to our organization, it will enable us to protect the planet from asteroid impacts. So users of the space map are scientists and companies and space companies who are building, operating, and flying space missions. These satellite builders and mission planning organizations have navigation teams. And those teams are generally made up of a group of PhDs that buy expensive software or write their own software or use open source software. And they customize it and build it and rebuild it and create algorithms over and over. Essentially, it's homegrown, we just heard. <laughs> it's inefficient, expensive, and slow. Our space map is we'll deliver these trajectories and mission plans in minutes, not months. Uh, and similar to the recent development in launch services by entrepreneurs, which dramatically reduced launch costs, new software will reduce costs and navigation planning time. A shared space map will support the new era of deep space mobility and exploration. Now, you may perceive some of these companies are already doing something similar. They focus on providing services just above the atmosphere. They operate man-made objects that circulate around our home planet. These companies, these companies track satellites and space junk and deliver Earth-based mapping, navigation, and communication services. However, humanity is going beyond Earth in the future. Unlike the man-made objects circling around the Earth, asteroids make up the majority of the objects moving in our solar system. My organization is dedicated to protecting the planet from asteroid impacts. And while we are not concerned about the asteroids in the asteroid belt, 
we are concerned about the ones that come near Earth. Today, humanity has found less than 1% of the asteroids that come near Earth, approximately 26,000 of them. Annually, we find about 2,000 new near-Earth asteroids, and we need to find more than 3 million. We have a discovery challenge. Many of us are confident that humanity will come together to mount an asteroid deflection campaign if we have enough warning time. Why building, this is why building a space map is so important. We both need to build a map and accelerate asteroid discovery. So who helps with this discovery challenge today? There's several telescopes leading the way, including PanSTARRS in Hawaii, the Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona. And between the two, PanSTARRS and Catalina, they found the majority of the 26,000 near-Earth asteroids known today. ZTF in California is now pioneering a new data feed for a much larger telescope called Vera Rubin. The Vera Rubin Observatory, also known as the Legacy Survey of Space and Time, or LSST, will see first light in 2023 and will find an estimated 200,000 new near-Earth asteroids, dwarfing our current inventory of 2,600. These land-based telescopes, along with future space-based telescopes, will provide the data that will run through the space map. Now, we're excited to share that we've developed a completely novel algorithm for discovering asteroids using a small percentage of data from ZTF. And this algorithm, called THOR, enabled us to discover new main belt asteroids that ZTF and other telescopes did not find. This algorithm and the supporting software are freely available online. And this is just the beginning as we build out the computational capabilities in advance of Vera Rubin. Together with a group of respected partners, we've been building this platform, and our tools and algorithms are being open sourced to freely use. These tools run at scale to handle the future deluge of asteroid data coming from Vera Rubin. And we believe it is imperative that if an asteroid has our address on it, others should be able to verify and replicate that data in an open and transparent way. And we're honored that Dr. Ed Liu, who leads our research and technical development, was selected to receive an Explorers Club Discovery Expedition Grant to help advance this space map. And we believe that space is the next great frontier, and it is possible that together, we can eliminate an existential risk using the same platforms and tools that advance humanity's journey into the solar system. Thank you.